Pastor James Gill was arrested back in 2023 for theft of over $250,000, which is terrible. And we're going to we're going to get into the specifics of that in a second. But now more charges from his past have surfaced which call into question how was this guy ever allowed to be a pastor in the first place now what we do here all the time is that we expose church corruption and the wolves that are currently occupying pulpits across the country and each day more and more are being exposed because as i've said god is done playing judgment starts first in his house and even after this guy was arrested with all these, you know, the charges in the past that are servicing, we're, we got to get into this because it really tells the story. But before we do, I want to welcome all of you to Not By Sight News. Yes, a blind Christian guy here reporting to you, reminding you as always that we walk by faith, not by sight. For someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Speaking of that, for those interested, you want to know my story. How did I go blind? How do I operate my entire ministry without being able to see? I made a video that explains it all. You'll find a link to that in the description section of all my videos. And if you really enjoy and appreciate my work and you would like to contribute with a donation to help me out, you can hit that super thanks button on the YT video or join my Patreon for as little as five bucks a month. Patreon.com slash not by site news link in the description. Hey, do you guys want to get access to all of these videos before they hit the main YT platform? Well, when you join my Patreon, that's exactly what you are going to get along with a bunch of other cool features. I hope you'll check it out and join me again. It's patreon.com slash not by site news. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Let's talk about this because you got this guy, James Gill. He was the pastor of Liberty Church in Tennessee. And he served in this role, you got to understand, for 14 years, okay? prior to his arrest in 2023. But in addition to being the pastor of Liberty Church, he was the director of the Sumner County Food Bank, which is a ministry that was tied in with Liberty Church. Food banks are great, right? They provide for those who are less fortunate, for those who are in need. However, upon an investigation by deacons that took place, they found suspicious checks that were made out to various beneficiaries of Gill that uh, had nothing to do with the food bank whatsoever, but they were taking directly from the donations that people were giving to help the Sumner County Food Bank. And how much of that was stolen by Gill? At least $250,000. He was rightfully arrested on those charges. He still remains in custody today. He has another hearing that's scheduled for, I believe, in July Um, where they're going to talk about settlement and all of that. But after Gill was arrested, they ended up arresting three more volunteers of the food bank that were associated with Gill that were actually accomplices in this, that were doing the same thing. They were taking money from the food bank. You have to understand this for a second, because with these types of churches, you know, they're asking people to donate to the other ministries, like the food bank, right? So for all those church people that were there, they were attended faithfully, They gave to the church, not only probably their tithes, but then they were giving you the food bank as well because they thought that this was somehow, you know, I mean, I mean, you would think so, right? It's a ministry to help the less fortunate. But all the while, the pastor was stealing the money from you that was supposed to go to this food bank. This happens all the time. And people always put this blind trust in leaders because they put a pastor in front of their name and you think that they can be trusted. But but churches now are amongst some of the safest places that these men think that they can go to where they can deceive people. I can't stress this enough how much you need to use discernment in these days that we are in right now when it comes to these leaders. They are not who they say they are. I mean, this guy Gill was noted as, you know, a wonderful citizen of his community, a nice guy, and he wasn't. He was the complete opposite. He was a wolf that was hiding in plain sight. Now, other charges have now surfaced since his arrest. And this is alarming to me. Because it appears that he had charges against him. He actually served jail time back in the 1980s when he was a police officer, (laughs) a police officer in Mississippi. So the guy not only posed as a pastor, he previously posed as a police officer. According to the report, which 
Um, I will include a link for you. It's going to be over on my Patreon at patreon.com slash not by state news. By the way, it is free to join the Patreon where you can get access to these links um, a lot because I put them there just because of the scope of what we're talking about here. It's just a better place for me to put it without having to worry about anything on YT. Um, you can sign up for free again to get access to the links. But if you want to get uh, all of the videos before they hit the main YT platform in their entirety, um, then you can become a paid member for as little as five bucks a month. So that's where I'm going to include this. But he broke into a store in Mississippi. This was when he was a police officer and along with an accomplice stole over $500,000 worth of silver, you know, of, of silver type wear and cookware and everything from this store. Uh, it was also a hardware store. They took the material and then they attempted to sell it themselves. Again, it was valued over $500,000. Pleaded guilty to that. He was sentenced seven years in prison. Uh, he only ended up serving three of those years. Four of the others were waived because of his guilty plea. But what did this guy learn? When he got out of jail, absolutely nothing. Moves from Mississippi over to Tennessee, starts a church, and does the exact same thing again. Stealing, theft, money laundering. And this is why I tell people all the time, for those who like to throw the scripture, they, they like to twist scripture to defend their favorite pastors. They say, judge not, lest you be judged. He who be without sin cast the first stone. Touch not my anointed. The Bible also states that there will be false Christs and false prophets that will rise in the last days to deceive many and also to know people by their fruits. Some are never believers to begin with. You have to understand that. This is not about just having a moment of sin, repenting, which means to turn from it, never to go back to it again you know, and go from there. No, these are people that were never truly walking with the Lord to begin with that are posing as pastors and ministers for other nefarious means. You know, if you're someone that's seeking a church in these days, you have to really do your research on who these people are. This information was out there. But nobody really looked into it. It's now coming to light because of his, you know, because he was just arrested recently. But do your homework on these men. Look them up. Find out about them. Don't just trust them. You give money to them. Of course, the, the church is always going to tell you to give money, 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 right? It was, and then they do things like this and it hurts people. And it really just, it, it, it can cripple relationships with God, cause people to lose their faith altogether. And that's not what it should be. I always tell people not to put your faith in man, but to put it in Christ and Christ alone. Work on your relationship with him. You don't need a man to preach to you. You don't need a building. That calls itself a church. You don't need that. All you need is Christ at the end of the day. But I'll leave it there. I want to know your thoughts on this. You can leave them in the comment section. And again, if you enjoy and appreciate my work and you would like to contribute to my ministry, you can hit the super thanks button on the YT video or join the Patreon for as little as five bucks a month, patreon.com slash not by site news. We will continue to expose church corruption here as we always do along with these wolves. What I want to do right now, something I do on all these videos, let's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach. This is an altar call. I've been doing this on my videos since 2016. No matter what it is that I'm discussing here in the church, exposing the corruption and these wolves, we always want to give people that opportunity to receive Christ as Savior. So that being said, for anybody watching now, if you are somebody who has not yet received Jesus as Lord and Savior and you would like to do so, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that right now. This is a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. As he died and rose again for you and me, he paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from sin, not just to say you're sorry and then jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away. And the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.